Hi guys, welcome to HopPerry.tv. At times one will wonder if there is any hierarchy when it comes to traditional rulers, paramount rulers. Well, in the Yoruba land, they trace some stories and they say Oni of Ife is the eldest and um, the any, any king that actually comes from there will remain the eldest, meaning the eldest of the rest of the Yoruba kings. Now, not by age, but by status. Um, nevertheless, there have always been tossed here and there as regards, you know, who is the head, who will do this. You find another king um, actually berating the other king. Here is um, Oba Akinruto, and here he challenges Oni and said he is the highest king in Yoruba land, and he speaks with thunder in his mouth. Now, the Olubo of Ubo Kingdom in Ondo State, Oba Frederick Obateru Akinruto, has declared that he is the highest Oba in Yoruba land. He also claimed that his father owns Ife Kingdom and that he has a right to crown Yoruba Obas. Now, like I said, there is always a story and um, that you hear here and there. I am the apartment ruler, we are the elders, my uncle left, and some of these things are not documented anyway. It's just this. Um, narrative that we hear now the Olubo has recently attacked the Oni of Ive Oba Adeyeye Eniton Ogunusi over his Oni claim that the Igbo people were originally from Ile Ife of course you know that the Oba Adeyeye Eniton comes up with different narratives that I don't know where he got it from but then I don't know if there are anything to prove if you're just joining in kindly take a moment to subscribe let's grow this channel together and also do not forget to click on that red notification icon bell just close to the subscription button so you can be notified whenever videos are uploaded now akiruto spoke at the installation held at his palace in Uboland, declaring that i am ready to crown more kings from the diaspora as long as i remain the number one king in yoruba land i am the custodian of the yoruba culture now this king is known not to speak he has never replied any conflict even when the other king even when the king of the uh set stops he never replied he tried to maintain that um you know that hierarchy that he feels he is on the top and he's not saying anything now this oba of uboland said that uh, is going to crown more kings in diaspora that is one in america he wants to crown kings in canada many of them will get crowns and staff of office from me and nobody can query me that's what he said he said they know that i'm a special oba in yoruba land my father oba maki osa ganga is the owner of ife that is what he claimed now he's still the owner of obat oil this king Olubo lege ogone i don't know what this is if this is Atata, Bio, Kunleri, Afo, Afo, Mafo, Fore, something like Ajati Ogone. Now, I don't know what this language is anyway, but that's where he is from anyway. Probably is a different dialect, it's Yoruba land. Now, he said, I'm the leader of all of us in Yoruba land. I speak with thunder in my mouth and I make bold to say so. No one is above me in Yoruba land, in as much as I've been accepted that we are from Ife. I'm the one that Odudua met at Ife. So he's trying to say his ancestor. Now, when you look at these things closely, people say Odudua came, you know, we hear all the stories, Odudua came from somewhere. Odudua must have met people, right? Or maybe met nothing. So he claimed that Odudua met his own ancestors right there in Ife. So how did Odudua become king? And they moved. So it's a long story. It's a long story. He is also the owner of Obat oil and gas. So he's a very rich king, being that there is oil in Ondo State. He said, I'm going to celebrate 10 years on the throne. People should go and prepare. I don't want people to wear suits to my coronation anniversary because I am a Yoruba Oba. Wow. He further said the coronation will be a special celebration because he is preparing for it and people will come from all over the world to come to the country to celebrate with him. The three men crowned by Olubu were Uriada, Uriade of Georgia. Now, these are the kings that were crowned by Oba Akiruto. The three men crowned 
uh, Oriadio of Georgia, Obabena Shola Akiri Misi, and traditional ruler of Yoruba in Liberia, Oba Omobolaji Ogunkoya, Odua Badewolu One, and the traditional ruler of Yoruba in the Republic of Ireland, Oba Said Ibrahim Adufe. Wow, that's a huge thing. So, he crowned all of these people in diaspora and he said he's a king that speaks with thunder. Anybody that wants to challenge him would, should come and face him. And he said his celebration, his coronation is going to be a special celebration. Now, while fellow Yoruba others choose to ignore Akironto on his action and outburst, the Ariel no can come for Yoruba land, Are Gani Adams. Ariel no can come for of Yoruba land, Gani Adams, in a strongly worded statement, questioned Akironto's claim as a member, as a number one king in Yoruba land, and said, What arrogance, what impudence, what uncultured remark. On what authority is he crowning Yoruba others in the diaspora? Who told him that nobody can query him? He said he remained the number one king in Yoruba land, which Yoruba history is backing his arrogance. What is Akirito's position in Yoruba? Is it, does he think by parading himself as a rich man? Like I said, he's very, very, very rich. Yoruba will respect him for trying to desecrate the lad. Who does he think is embarrassing the Yoruba nation at every opportunity? Which Northern Emir abuses the Sultan of Sokoto? Of course. You know that the emirs are not embarrassing their sultans but governors can actually embarrass sultans so he further said does he learn from history at all what exactly is responsible for his arrogance coming from an oba who is traditionally constitutionally and spiritually mandated to protect your land? does he think his arrogance will take him anywhere are they urged southwest governors and other traditional rulers to call the Olubu to order and he submitted that the monarch is a danger that can destroy our tradition. Now, what do you guys think about this? With the kings, the kings that we have now, I mean, the older ones, the younger ones are actually saying stuff that are kind of a bit tough to understand. Um, and since they have no much power as they do, they are underneath the government. Governor of the state can actually dethrone or back if he's misbehaving or any king um, if he's not towing the line. What do you guys think? Do you think royalty is becoming useless? Now, what about the Queen of England that has decided to be silent when it comes to politics, but then they are still the royalty in England and they are being served. They don't work. They are being served by the commoners, as they call them, by the subjects, citizens of that country, British citizens. So what do you guys think about it? Do you think soon we will have nothing, um, no more monarchy? because they are just there um, doing nothing for their citizens, for their subjects, for the people that they are king over. Well, whatever opinion you have, if you are a royalty, you are a prince, princess, um, let's meet in the comment section below. Tell me what your experience is and what you think you understand by, you know, with all of this stuff that you're saying. And while you are that, may I remind you to kindly support this channel by subscribing is very easy all you have to do is to just click on that red subscription button and the red notification icon bell below it is free it does not cost you anything thanks for stopping by once again